Hey everybody, it's me, Karazina Cheetah, here with more Black Mirror 2. So this game's really awesome, and I'm very happy that I'm playing it. Back there is where the harbor ends and the natural shoreline begins. Just miles and miles dotted with lone houses. Often guest houses and hotels with views over the ocean. I don't want to bother her anymore. Yeah, she's pretty sad. Um, Look at this. I also really like that function where I can see what's interactable. Looks like you can only buy tourist rip-off stuff in here. But the mail for the whole neighborhood gets dropped here too. Hmm. Let's see. Let's look at the car. I think that's Fuller's car. I'm not one of those people who knows about such things. And goes into fits of ecstasy when they see a classic. Who knows? Is that thing a classic anyway? I'm not sure. Cannot tell. A hydrant, just like any other one. I don't see anything special about it. Might as well. Okay, there's a lot of things here. An ancient rickety tool shed. This is where Fuller keeps the junk that he doesn't just throw somewhere in the yard. So, not much. A reel of fishing line. There seems to be a little still on it. Cool. Hey, fishing line. We got an item. Only the line, I'm afraid. No hook. Damn. A length of tow rope, a bit more than two yards long, and in great condition. Ropes are always good. Yep, yeah, ropes are always good. Fuller hung out the laundry yesterday, for him and his mother. I just found it somewhat surprising that a fat ass like him does the laundry for his mother. Alarming, even. The man is way past 40 and gets bossed around by his mother. Interesting. If somebody told me the old fat pig dumped poisonous waste, then I'd completely believe it. I don't understand why Fuller doesn't just get this stuff picked up. What does he want to keep it for? Bucket. Let's see, anything in the bucket? completely rusted bucket with big holes in the bottom of it. Oh, the opposite of having something in it. The handle's busted off. I'm gonna leave the bucket there. There really isn't much more I can do with it. That's the cage for Fuller's mother's dog. But the dog is usually in the house. At least, I've never seen it here in the cage. Hmm. Hmm. The water bowl is completely dry. Perhaps I can still use it. Okay, we got a bowl. Let's look at the grating. A solid iron grill. It's across the light shaft that leads up from the basement. Mm. The grill is very heavy and rusted into the concrete. It's gonna take a lot of force to open it. Why should I do that to myself? Fair. The window's barred. The bars seem pretty strong and are bricked into the wall. The window's barred. Okay. Bad. Is bad. The window is open, presumably to let in some fresh air. Or maybe it just doesn't close properly. Who knows? The window is open. Either out front or in the back. Fuller's gonna go nuts if I haven't done his jobs for him. 
Hmm. Alright, that's fair. I can only see into Fuller's office through the window. Sadly, I can't watch the photo shoot. I can only see into Fuller. Okay. Tasks. All right. Latest task. Hand over Fuller's letter to Mrs. Biba. Biba's diner. Okay. But hey, we got some items. That's always good, right? Right mouse click on the arrows in the inventory and switch immediately to either the beginning or end of the list of objects. That's interesting. There's a lot of people around. I'm kind of into that. That's really cool. What a flashy thing that is. Probably some tourist cool ride. Europeans in particular confuse New England with California and think they should be driving around in convertibles or Mustangs. Hmm. Jebediah Biddeford or something like that, I guess. Honestly? Oh. I didn't mean to double click through that. Most of the year, an open top car is a bad idea around here. True. With that kind of weather, Biddeford should make the raincoat a national uniform. Yeah, well, let's go and be beside her. I haven't seen such an old bubblegum machine for years. It's pretty Belongs cool looking. To the diner. They do that whole nostalgia thing in there too. No thanks. What? What do you have against bubblegum? How nice. That's stinking garbage, and I have no particular interest in it. How nice. Burgers, fries, and drinks. What more could you need? Honestly, yeah. A red, white, and blue string of lights. God bless America. <laughs> A red, white, and blue. Oh, Judy. I like this guy. Yeah, just down the street. Thanks a lot. Okay. Some people. Right? A man in a white lab coat. In his 40s, I'd say. Could be a doctor. A man in a white lab coat. Alright, let's see. Oh, there's a lot of things. They got two or three people working in the kitchen. One of them's Mr. Biber. Mrs. Biber works out here on her own. Looks like she really works her butt off. I really don't know if this place makes any money. There's usually a few people whenever I come in. But is that enough? Surely you can't get by on just that. Ketchup, mustard, mayo, salt, pepper, syrup, sugar. Hmm. And a bottle of vinegar. Oh, we just straight up took it? There's not much left. I don't think anyone will miss it. Alright, guess we have vinegar. That's Mrs. Biba, I think. As far as I can understand it, she runs this place with a husband. Um... Excuse me. What can I get you, my boy? Actually, I'm I'm here to give you something. It's it's from Fuller in the photo store. Psst. Hey, come over here. Not sus at all. I can guess what this is about. The dirty old swine. I should have known. 
vermin ain't so easy to get rid of. Tell him I... Uh, uh you better tell him yourself. Uh, whatever it is, you... Uh... Claire! You gonna talk all day? The customers are waiting! Get out of here, and tell your boss he can go to hell. Jeez, what the hell was that all about then? <laughs> she sure didn't seem to be a fan of Fuller's. I got that much. And the guy in the kitchen, he sure wasn't supposed to see that she had mail. Let's see if I can talk to her again. Sorry, Mrs. Biba? Can you tell me anything about Carrie? She's supposed to have killed herself? Yeah. Carrie. She was a really sweet girl. Always ready to help. Always friendly. She wanted to open a kindergarten here. There's not much in the way of childcare around here. Parents have to take their kids for miles to find a place. She was such a lovely girl. She still had her whole life in front of her. I saw a photo of her in Fuller's shop window. She was really pretty. If I'd only known. Poor thing. How do you mean? <sighs> it's not important. Too late anyway. All right, what is it? Uh, I was just asking, what Fuller... Listen, I ain't got the time, nor do I want to talk about that scumball. Bug off. Psst. Mrs. Biber. Yes, what can I get you? I'm only the messenger. I've got no idea what's going on here. I can't stand Fuller either, but I... But you still work for him, don't you? Making some nice dough. Problem is... It's not his money. It's... Okay. You know what? Let's leave. How does one leave? There we go. Hello? Young man! You're Darren Michaels, aren't you? Hi. Yes, and you are? Oh, excuse me. My name is Newhouse. I'm a doctor at the health center. <laughs> at the health center? You mean at the hospital out there? Well, yes. We call it the Biddeford Health Center. We, we aren't just a hospital. We have yoga courses and cookery courses and... And what do you want from me? I, yes. I, I know your mother. Darren. We had a date here this morning, to be more precise. Me and her. We wanted to hang up some pictures your mother painted in the health center. Yes. And? She... She's not there. She's normally always... She's always punctual, isn't she? This kind of thing never happens. Look, I don't have a lot of time right now. I'll give her a call, okay? As soon as I'm back in the store. It, maybe she's forgotten about your little meeting, Doc. If you say so, but actually... I gotta go. I'll call Mom later and tell her that you're waiting for her in... in the health center. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. Okay, a little bit of a strange fellow there. Pig! What's going on? Your lovely boss. Does he always try to grope his customers? Uh, no, only the women. That's not funny. Uh, no, of course not. What can I say? Fuller's an asshole. Well, he's never going to see me again. Darren, would you bring the phone to Mr. Uh, uh, of course. My pleasure. I'm staying at the Wild Coast, room number five. 
No problem. <laughs> You'll have them this afternoon. Thanks, my hero. <laughs> See you later. Whoa, wait a minute. Huh. That's the guy from the diner. Is he following Angelina? Hey! You're gonna gawk her ass right off. Whatever the bitch said, it's all a dirty pack of lies. Sure. Back to work! Oh, this is not gonna go well. Hey! You got the package? Yep. Well then, give it to me. How'd the photo shoot go? Ah, uh, shut up. I only mean the young lady who... That alley cat's gone, okay? No little goodbye kissy for little Darren. So now, Punch him. get to work. The shelves here could use with the dusting and the gutters leaky. And you still gotta take my mama's dogs for a walk. Go back to the post office again and ask if the new photo paper's already arrived. The mailman still hasn't brought a collection note. Great. And the store could also do with a good sweeping. Okay, any more tasks? He's cranky. I guess Angelina did a number on his ego. Nice job. Okay then, but before I start with all that stuff, I'd better give Mom a quick call and remind her she was gonna take the pictures to the hospital. And somehow I've gotta get a hold of the film so I can make some prints of Angelina's pictures without Fuller catching me doing it. Okay. Fuller's camera. The film with Angelina's photos on it is definitely still in it. But I haven't a clue how I'm gonna get the film on it without Fuller noticing. Yeah. Oh, I'll just have to try later. Alright. That's fun. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching. I just want to take a minute to ask that if you haven't already, please take a second to like and subscribe if you'd like to see more. And if you're looking to show even more support, there's a link to my Patreon in the description below this video. You can see everything you get right here on the screen, and I'm always looking for more perk ideas from you guys, so let me know what you'd be into. I think that's about it. Bye guys!